How's it going everyone? It's Chris with Hobby Cantina and today we're testing out the Kyosho First Mini Z. So let's dive right in. Alright everyone, so this first Mini Z, I ended up getting the AE86, uh, the initial D one, and I will tell you that from, you know, messing around, driving this thing around, um, it's definitely a toy, it's, it's, not, um, it's not hobby grade. But what we, we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you what this comes with. We're gonna test it out here in my garage, and I'm gonna take it inside and test it out in the house. I'm gonna build some ramps out of cardboard we're gonna launch it and bash it a little bit and um, I'll show you what this thing can do. Um, but yeah, I mean, I like it a lot. Um, I got this after I got my Mini Z and it's kind of become like the car that's always in the house that you mess around with. Um, but yeah, let's dive right in. All right, so basically this first Mini Z, um, everything that you're getting with it is you get this controller, you get your car, I went with that AE86, the initial D1, and then of course you get your controller. This controller is super basic, um, no foam or anything on the wheel. Uh, over here is your off, so it's off, low, and high speed. Um, that's pretty much all it is. It takes two AA batteries, and also this little digital screen right here, this is just a stopwatch and you can control that with this button down here. Um, but that's it, and just a regular forward and reverse. You also get some cones with this, um, and then also like a little tool that you can hook up to here, and then you can adjust your steering. Um, but you don't really need that tool to do that. You can just do it with your hand. So, um, but the only other thing I could say about this is you're just gonna need two AA batteries for this and two AA batteries for this. And you're good to go. It also does have this clip that holds the batteries in. Um, I mean, the batteries are in there so good that even if you lost this clip, you'd still be good. Um, but yeah, I will show you exactly what's under the body now. All right, so first Mini Z. Just like on the Mini Zs, when you want to open this up, you just flip it here and you're gonna, you'll see right here there's these tabs and then you've got a tab up here, right? So all you're doing is you're pulling this like that and then you're just gonna flip it over and it's just gonna drop right out. With this, it does have headlights on it um, so if you don't want the headlights and the backlights to be working, you can just leave this unplugged. Um, but that's all that this is. So you'll see you got the front and the back and those lights only work when you're engaged in moving. So if you go forward, the lights turn on. If you go back, the lights turn on. That's it, no turn signals or anything like that. But pretty simple. Um, as you can see, the wheels, they actually have like a rubber that goes on and off of them. So um, maybe you can upgrade the tires for these. I'll have to check it out and see. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, it seems as though you really can't get into anything without totally taking it apart and unscrewing all this stuff. Um, so maybe I'll make another video of me doing that and we can see what's going on with this. But there's a very slight suspension I don't know if you can see, it's just a little bit of suspension. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and turn this thing on. And like I said, you can just unplug this if you don't want the lights. And I'll show you how we put this back in. Super easy. It's actually easier, in my opinion, to close this thing than it is to open it. Um, but you just slip this piece in first up here, like so. And then, like I said, these little parts right here, you just wanna make sure it's lined up. 
and then you just push in and we should be good to go. It's funny because the body looks different than the, the mini Z. So it kind of looks like it's like not in there. Right. But it it's in there. So good to go. Let's go ahead and uh, turn this one on. All right. So on this controller right here, we're just going to start in low. So I'm just going to go from off to low. And then on here, the way you turn it on and off is right here in the middle. You'll see the lights flash real quick. I don't know if you caught that, um, but this is rear wheel drive. Let's see, just rear wheel drive. There's your back lights and your front. And this is low. And then we'll go ahead and switch this to high. There's high. All right. Well, let's go ahead and test it out. We'll start in low. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna switch the batteries on it so there's fresh batteries in it. Um, but I'll show you real quick. All you do is you just take that little clip I was telling you about and you just pull it off just like that. And it just takes two double A. One thing that's a little bit weird is that they both go the same direction. So your positives are both going this way and see how it, it's like, it's snapped in there good. So if you lose this bottom thing, uh, I wouldn't really fret about it because, um, your batteries are going to stay in there, but that's it. So we'll go ahead and make sure that controller is on. We'll start in low and then we'll go ahead and switch this on. There we go. All right. So we're in low. And as you can see, the lights always turn on. When you're moving and they come off when you stop. Same thing with the back. Show you right now. Back ones, same thing. They come on when you're moving and when you stop, they go off. All right, now I've got it in higher speed. You can see it's definitely a heck of a lot faster. Now this is rear wheel drive. Um, so it's super easy to just kind of slightly drift this, I guess you could say, um, at least here uh, on this concrete, but you're not going to get it sideways like the uh, Mini Z. Um, but you're in really good control. I will say though, with this one, your steering isn't that great. Um, but you know, it's a toy, it's functional. <laughs> um, but yeah, so as you can see, it's just just cruising just fine. It's got a lot of speed uh, for what it is. <laughs> but let's go ahead and um, let's test this out inside. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and build some ramps for it too. And we'll shoot them off those ramps.
All right, everyone. Well, I hope you enjoyed this um, Kyosho, the first Mini Z. Um, this thing, basically, even though it's not hobby green, I would say it's it basically is. Um, it's just the steering's not great, and uh, other than that, I mean, everything else, the scale is really good. So, if you're looking for something to just kind of mess around with in your garage or in your house or something, and you want something cheap but it's got some good looking detail and some lights and stuff to it. This is perfect. Um, I also, I'd recommend this for like kids and you know, anybody that's just into this JDM looking type of stuff. Um, this, this would be a great one. Uh, the box artwork's really cool. Um, those cones you saw, those were the cones that came with it. Um, so everything you're getting, I think it, these things are like anywhere from 40 to $50. Um, but yeah, I mean, I highly recommend it. I think Kyosho did a really good job uh, pushing this as like their first Mini Z. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed the Kyosho first Mini Z. If you have any questions or any comments or anything about this, uh, let me know in the comments below and I'll get right back to you as soon as I can. As always, this is Chris with Hobby Cantina. Thanks for watching.